Hey guys, welcome back to the Out of Nothing Warning. This content is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken seriously. At all. <laughs> At all. Somewhat. Maybe, yeah. Uh -huh, honey. Hey guys, welcome back to Out of Nothing. I am your host, Isaac, joined as always by the artist himself, Jordan Simi. Yo, what's up, guys? <laughs> Oh, right. Thanks for having me, man. Grateful as usual. <laughs> That's my word too, <laughs> grateful. Been pumping it around. Um, you said you want to add a little mental health sort of check-in at the start. Yeah, so yeah, man. I just wanted to check in with you, bro. See how everything's going. You went to the Goldie. How's your mentals? Good. So you're smiling a little bit too much. <laughs> that only means one thing. What does it mean? The Pie Piper. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's good, bro. Nice and chill. I love the Goldie. Yeah. I don't know, uh, yeah, I always toss up if I could move up there. That's sort of been the little battle recently. I think it's just too, it's too chilled up there, but I don't know if it's because I'm just hanging around with Quaid, like, you know, bro. Quaid and Tanormi? <laughs> <laughs> Yummy duck. <laughs> <laughs> bro, two of the <laughs> slackest humans around. A mm. couple of the greats, though. Yeah, I mean, hey, it's just, the writing's on the wall. Yeah. Really, it speaks for itself. But yeah, Goldie, man, Goldie's like, Goldie's one of those places, man. You know? It's got Valium in the air. Like you sort of get up there, just everyone's moving like slow. Valium and second cousiny. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not anymore, but I feel like Gold Coast would be one of those places where you're like you can just restart, reset. Mm. Uh yeah, we're going up there this weekend? Maybe. I'll be keen, yeah. I'll be keen. If I get the yeah. Oh, I'm I'm keen as to go up on Friday, it'd be good to just reconnect with it's a few shorties up there. <laughs> nah, nah. it's pretty good to get away from sydney man you know it's fast paced down here man sometimes you get caught on the tracks oh 100 percent. bro it's cool hanging out like oh, well, i know we've been talking about quite a lot lately and just sort of missed out on the wallaby so um just went up there to hang out with him bro but yeah well, i checked in on him bro move slow he, he is literally the slowest person i know in life yeah but you're very impatient though and, and this brings me back to my there's one thing that I woke up this morning, right? You woke up in a mood today. I did. <laughs> you caught me in a good mood. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I woke up this morning to the sound of a blender at about 6 a.m. And it was my housemate. It was my housemate. And it was a split second where I was like, man, fuck this guy. You know, I could go out there and, and really do some damage. But I sort of took, so took some time and I took a step back from the situation. I thought... I'm very lucky to hear these noises, you know. I'm very lucky to have the opportunity to wake up in, you know, a king-size bed with, like, silk sheets and whatnot and hear that noise. And I was like, man, this, I'm grateful for that, you know. And that's how I'm trying to attack life now. I'm trying to break these break these things down and try and look at, you know, try and look at the, the good of every situation, even when that chick was... So maybe, you know, maybe you going up to see Quaid was just a simple reminder to slow down. I like that, but it's like move just just move just a touch quicker, you know. You're going like, bro, take longer to get ready. Try and look sexy all the time. <laughs> just relax. We're going to the shops. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a hard life, man. Fuck, he's disciplined, man. It's like um, we went out Saturday next day, sauna into the water, sauna into the water, straight into eating healthy, and sort of by night time, all smoking KFC. <laughs> And he's he's eating his steak on the side like he doesn't. He's mostly eats. Is carnival. he carnival? Yeah, a lot a lot of the time he eats carnival. Uh, unless we go out for dinner, like he doesn't want to be that annoying dude. But like he was eating his steak and I was smacking a zinger box and he's mm. like looking at me, shaking his head. Mm. Shit. What uh? What um? Fuck you, man, my dad. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. goes, bro. I don't know how you can eat that shit. <laughs> I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I've, I've got. I mean, it's hard to step away from that life, eh? The KFC life? No, nah, no, nah, like the carnival life and the... Uh, <laughs> You've never been carnival. Yeah, I'm currently doing carnival diet and I have actually... I, I've, been, I've been doing carnival diet since I was 15. <laughs> so, I mean, put two and two together, you tell me. But, I mean, I, I, I was going to come up, but yeah, it was just... Fuck, I was a bit crook. Been real sick lately. Why? I think it's the... <laughs> Broken heart. I mean, it could be, man. Have you ever heard the, the, that saying? What saying? What, actually, what, <laughs> what song are you going to steal lyrics from? I don't... <laughs> Do you believe in tunes? 
Do you believe in love? <laughs> After love? <laughs> oh, man. Broken heart, man. Actually, yeah. oh, I haven't checked it on you. How's your, how's your mentals? <sighs> I'm happy you asked. I was waiting for it. <sighs> Two hours into the potty and you ask. Thank you. Uh, my mentals are sweet, man. You know, mental health isn't really something to joke around about, but I like to make light of each situation in my personal life. I think... I like to make it... If it's affecting me in my own way, then I'll, I'll make make light of it. But... Uh, my yeah, I've been I've been good, man. I've just been plodding along. I've made I've made peace with the fact that, you know, I'm bipolar, and horny. <laughs> but you know, it's it's hard to, you know, it's hard it's hard to just. Some days you wake up and you're like, you know, I could fucking jump in front of a bus. And some days you wake up and you're like, I could drive the bus. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to find that middle part. I'm trying to find the middle thing. But friendships are good. Relationships with family are good. Tick the boxes, man. <laughs> Tick the most important boxes at, at the start of every day and you go to sleep a happy man. Mm, I love that. Or women. Yeah. Or, or both. Or non-binary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no disrespect. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Using mental health issues to pull. No, no, no. The non-binary thing. I don't know. Like I just, it doesn't bother me. Like I still believe in science, but like if you want to be addressed in a certain way, I'll, I'll happily, mm. I'll happily just go. Yeah, cool. You want to be called? Does it get the heart racing? <laughs> not really. Like it doesn't. I know it bothers some people. To no, not in, not in a bad way. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Throbbing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like I've I've. I've had it. Like I've, I've tasted most of the fruits. Like maybe, oh, maybe I'll dabble in the dark arts. Do you want to jump over, do you? <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, I know. I know a few of the boys who have. Man, shout out to the boys. Um, but I've got man. I've got I've got friends. I've got friends that are non-binary. I've got I've actually got trans friends. And I'm like, man, come here, you little knucklehead. You know, it's all love. You know what I mean? That's the most important thing. Uh, it's just it's just loving one another, man. And just really. Sticking it out there. Yeah. I remember like when I was a little bit younger and people used to say like, do you care? Remember it was more so like, do you care if someone, one of your friends ended up being gay? Yeah. Remember those sort of conversations? That's, that's bloody, that's, you know, my baby, like my best mate's gay. I haven't spoken to him in years. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> like my little brother too, man. Yeah. Something is in the air, man. <laughs> but uh, it's all good vibes, bro. Good <laughs> vibes, good health. And I love it, bro. I love it. I love love, man. And it's it's nice seeing people happy, you know. That's so it. that's the most important thing, bro. Because one day we're not here, you know. But yeah, it's, it's good vibes, good energy. <laughs> Don't want to say anything that will get me cancelled. But mm. um, we sort of talked about a little bit before about using mental health issues to pull. Yeah, I mean... You want to bring this up or... Well, I mean... Uh, I mean, <laughs> Wait, Before you start, don't be a hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being a hypocrite. Like, I think... I think the science behind it, right? Females are very caring, loving, nurturing. Nurturing, yeah. So, I find like... I find like... I find, you know, when I, I put out like... My mates call it sad boy shit. When people put out sad boy shit, like they... It works. It out. seems to attract females, like, like, um, like a project in some ways. So, I mean, you might want to give it a try. <laughs> I actually suck at pulling it. Do you though? Two from two. No, nah, I couldn't, couldn't, couldn't pull an anorexic girl in a tug of war at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you hear that? I made it up on the spot. Mm. Like all my content. Yeah. No, nah, man. I, I jump back on Hinge. Jump back on Hinge, right? And it's a scary place. But uh, the funny thing was, bro, like, <laughs> so you got to, like, I've, I've deleted it and reload, reloaded it, re-uploaded it. It's made, it's, it's made to be deleted. <laughs> it is made to be deleted. And I love that. I love that as a marketing tool. It's oh, very easy. That's one of the great marketing lines, isn't it? So I delete it. And I, anyways, I, I get it back and, you know, heaps of lesbians are popping up on my thing. And I'm like, man, what's going on here? Like, it was, Do you can have seen your haircut? <laughs> <laughs> we can relate. Maybe they can pick up on energy yeah. in the fingertips. Nah, <laughs> but I... Um, Maybe they can pick up on your estrogen. <laughs> <laughs> I was swiping. Um, but... 
yeah, I just had I had my thing wrong, but fuck that. I was, I was swiping through lesbians and I was like, this is. How do you know the lesbian? Oh, it says in the thing. Yeah, it says in there. It says like bisexual, queer, bi- um, lesbian. Are you are you popping up on the female side of, of things? I've, I accidentally put my sex as female. <laughs> so, but I tell you what, man, it's an untapped market. It is. It is. <laughs> it is an untapped market, but man, nothing but good good vibes, good energy, <laughs> a lot of love. What, what's the art of what's the art of pulling on a hinge? See. <sighs> My thing is you don't want to be trying to be too sexy. See, like you don't want to be putting up sexy shots. Like you want to put up maybe one, one or two, just to split it up. But you've got to go sexy, goofy, sexy, goofy into three goofies down the bottom because there's six. Mm. Not too goofy. Not like, oh, hey, look that's, at me. I'm fucking. That's seven. Sexy, goofy, sexy, goofy into three goofies. Yeah. That's seven. Sexy, goofy. Sexy into three goofies. Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I must have said it the wrong. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Rain Man, relax. <laughs> so I'm. Where was I? So you do that, right? But you don't want it. You don't want it to be too goofy. So I'm giving you guys tips here. Get your pen and papers out, guys, because this is these are hot tips. I've never picked up personally from Hinge, but this is where <laughs> I'm thinking potentially this might help. You go sexy. Goofy, the sexy first photo is always the most important because because you're 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 typing quickly, right? It's a it's a numbers game, so you want that first photo to hit. So you don't want it to be of like your dog or your cat. Some people, this is what pisses me off, and I now I refuse to go dive deeper into their profiles when there's two or more people in the first photo. Ooh. If it's it's a decoy, it's a decoy because I'm like, or a hikoi. <laughs> Sorry, and. <laughs> The decoy makes you want to hit quick. <laughs> the fucking that first photo needs to be your best photo and solo as well. Question: If you are putting up the double photo, does that reek of a bit of insecurity, or are you throwing your ugly mate next to you to make yourself look better? That's that's what I mean. They're both both are insecurities. Ice. It's just which side are you on? You know what I mean? Mm. And I mean, I, I've post I've got a double photo on there, but that's down the bottom though. Who's with? Um, it's with Tash. No. (laughs) (laughs) Um, girls that post with guys, you're like, you know what I mean? Like if he's not noticeably gay, then it's like, you've thrown me off. What about the post of other people, but cover them with an emoji? Yeah. A bit too much admin there though. A bit too much. It's like, oh man. Yeah. 29 it's like you're doing that stuff it's like nah bro just post one by yourself or we'll just have the decency to cut it out you know but yeah i i, Wait, so I need yeah, sorry question yeah. do you reckon it'd be knowing your dating history do you reckon it'd be a play to have your opening thing of you and her which one no nah. uh nah nah oh nah because it'll it'll be someone will screenshot and send it to daily mail and then i'll just get shat on again that's all right. <laughs> I mean, you know, sometimes I think about it. I think about her. No, but I, um, nah, no, nah, that'd just be weird. It'd, like, I don't know. I, I have, am, am I, I, I have, I, have, I it, actually have, I've, I've, there's been a few times, bro, that like it's weird, but I hung out with this chick one time. I reckon within the first two minutes, she brought up my ex. And I was like, this is, it's just weird, bro. Like, don't talk about your ex on the first date or don't talk about someone else's ex. Mm. And she and it just creeps, just ruins the vibes. Mm. It's a good little. My dick tucked tucked in, and I became <laughs> they them. <laughs> respectfully, respectfully. Uh, um, <laughs> it is. I don't want to say it, it is kind of a draw card. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is. It is, bro. Like, yeah. Oh, that that's not a draw card. No, 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 no. No. You don't reckon girls would look at no, like talk just, talk about loyalty army for not not even knowing someone? <laughs> Holy cunt! <laughs> like I remember Anzac Day, bro. This chick threw a drink at me at bloody Clove Valley Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> she threw a drink at me, bro. Like in front of like a whole crowd, threw a drink at me, and she was they they just started set, chanting my ex's name, and I just was like, like you threw the drink at the wrong cunt. <laughs> But yeah, anyways. Good on her. Besides the, but yeah. I wish I saw that. I'm I got her back. 
I would have been so happy. I got her back. Yeah, you would. You would have been throwing drinks with her. <laughs> but yeah, back to Hinge. Um, before you made it weird. Uh, I. Sorry about my voice too. It's uh, it's pretty deep, eh? Yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, the first photo has to be a, <laughs> the first. <laughs> I've been told I got a nice voice. You do actually have a nice voice. Soothing, deep. Yeah. Leader, masculine. See, this is where you lose me. <laughs> this is where you lose me. Ah, <laughs> uh, you you you're, you're the second friend on the photo. <laughs> You are. Nah. You uh, like. Remember, the, remember those times when um, we used to post photos? It was like me, Normie, and Chico, and you were in the photo, and I used to crop your face out. There was a time where I was just, I go to Normie and I go, bro, I legit hate this guy, eh, man? You shake everyone else's hands. Surely I get to get into that secret handshake that you guys got going on. Nah. It's got to be make, natural, eh? Yeah, we'll make up our own one, bro. Nah, I want that one. Those boys be hanging off us, you know, when they come back, like you said. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. You're like, did. fuck norms. I'm like, whoa. I didn't say fuck norms. I just <laughs> said, don't come back here thinking you're going to talk to Anthony, mate. <laughs> Where's norms? I used to talk to Anthony. <laughs> About what? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, that's Hinge, bro. That's Hinge for you in a nutshell. Oh, you've given us nothing. All right, I'll give you, I'll give you guys, a, okay, t- tips with Hinge. Post a good photo. To kick off has to be nice. Don't make it like a serial killer vibe, like you're trying to take, like steal someone. Mm. Like you want it to be inviting, you know. Maybe chuck a little dog in there. Maybe, you know, hey, I'm at the beach. You know what I mean? Make it inviting. Mm. Uh, second, a few goofy shots, not all not all lovely ones, because you want them to see the side. Third, don't leave voice notes because you can leave a voice note unless you sound like this, <laughs> unless you sound like ice leader. <laughs> masculine masculine um because there's actually <laughs> there's actually like girls that actually like screenshot the shit and like post it i follow i follow a page it's called like hinge hinge boys or some shit like that yeah yeah they fucking post it they they post the shit so you've got to make it like very i don't post any of like in the write-ups it's like I make it very, very short. Short sushi, <laughs> bro. Sushi's the go-to. <laughs> yeah. I think my one says like, you know what was when my I travel Japan. <laughs> you know my biggest interaction was my biggest interaction like out of any photo discreet like prompt prompt was um, dating me, and we were driving to Threadbow, and I go and I just wrote um, it's like dating a wombat because I just seen a dead wombat on the side of the road. I couldn't think of anything. I was like, fuck, I just want it. So I said, like, dating a wombat. And I kid you not, man, like, more inquiries in the house for sale. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't believe a word of that. I swear to God, bro. I swear to God. I'd send it to Josh and i go, man, you got to get around this shit. The wombats. The wombat, bro. Put it in, man. It's a, it's a, it's a laugh. You, you sort of del- del- delivered up some great um, heat for the single boys a couple of years ago with the dog emoji. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's still getting around. Is it? Question is like... Break it down for us. The dog emoji. I mean, they. Sp- I've, I heard it. Uh, I heard them talking about it. You just obviously... You send... It can be any emoji, really. It's so hard these days to slide into chicks' DMs. Like, you be, you're be like you too serious. They're like, oh, that's a bit... It's a bit scary. You know, you're a bit too goofy. They're like, oh, but... I'd, you, just, you can you can go emoji if you want to make light of the situation. You know what I mean? Mm. Like a dog emoji. Sorry, I lost my dog. You know, some food emoji. You know, what's for dinner tonight? Um, eggplant emoji. <laughs> <laughs> what's for dinner tonight? <laughs> what's for dessert tonight? Yeah. So you can you can use anything, man. But before you go and try and date anyone, you have to fucking date yourself first. <laughs> I used to always say that shit to you, eh? Just, bro, look up to yourself first and then that other stuff will come. Yeah. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> nah, bro, that ain't for me, man. That's not for me. But it's all love, though, man. It's all love. So, <laughs> so, what if, so goofy and then just not too many prompts. Is just get that, after it. Yeah. Get after it, man. Get what, after it. What about um getting them out on a date? Like, what's the ideal first date? I feel like coffee and a walk. Coffee, coffee's good because if it's the first date, doesn't go well. Coffee's finished, sweet. 
we got to love you and leave you. Mm. You know, it's nice. And dinner, you're stuck there for three courses of the best. Dessert too, if you're into that shit. Mm. But coffee, man, coffee's the go-to. Coffee and then like, you know, something's happening here. Something's happening here with this girl. Maybe, I, maybe you can, maybe you've fallen in love. Men fall in love straight away. Have you ever heard that? Have you ever felt that? Yes, you have. You're one cunt that falls in love straight away. <laughs> and yeah, then you go for a little nice Bondi to Bronte, maybe a walk on the beach. Bit of K's under the legs. Yeah, you know, have a chat. Bondi to Bronte is actually a bit too aggressive. So I'd, I'd probably go a little beach walk, you know? Yeah, do you reckon it would give him an ick if you're going up the stairs and you start puffing too much? <sighs> Just walking in general gives me the ick. <laughs> what are your icks? My ex, uh, no followers. High top ponytails. Oh, I don't like them. I don't not like them. They're just icky. Just I'm just like, oh fuck. Yeah. Um, what else? Caring about me? Someone who cares? That gives me the ick. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else gives me the ick? I can't think of one off the top of my head. Short checks give me the ick. Oh, you love a tall chick, eh? Yeah, and I'm not disrespecting anyone because <laughs> people are so... Vertically challenged. I just, I like tall people. I like tall chicks. Mm. I just can't... Is that just so, so when you lie to them, you're looking at my level? <laughs> How does it feel to be five foot eight yourself? I'm six foot. People... <laughs> you are not six I foot. Am six oh my foot. God, bro. People are surprised how tall I am when they meet me. I'm six one. Nah, you'd be way taller. I'm six foot one. No, because your head's always down. <laughs> Playing at the press. You're, res. you're, six, you're six foot standing on people's egos. <laughs> Yours? Nah. I don't have an ego. No, it's like your head's always down, man. No, it's not, man. If anything, Pretending I'm, to be I'm depressed. seven foot if I look up. This is my nose. <laughs> your nose, yeah. Nah, I beat you to it. <laughs> beat you to it, man. I've taken, taken it away. <laughs> taken that away from you. Can't use it today. Would you change anything about your face? Would you would you change your nose if you could? I, I have actually looked at altering my nose uh, for breathing purposes. Yeah. Not because it's huge and oh, humongous. Oh, it covers your mouth? No, nah, because it covers your mouth. <laughs> um, the snorkel. What, the, the click crusher? Have you ever fucking rested your head on a, mi <laughs> on a microphone with your nose? <laughs> no, but I, I actually looked into getting like a nose job and like it just, it just wouldn't. Like it just doesn't look sweet. What do you mean? Like just intricate, like just my facial structure, because they like they do like a full, like they brought this part up, they pulled it up, like and it looked weird. It looked weird. Like I'd have to shave some off the t the front here, and then I'd have to like inject stuff into here to like make it look like it's like going straight down. Yeah. And I'm like, do I really need to? Like, do I, I don't even really need to. Maybe, maybe in the future, but right now, like, you know, the runs are on the board. Yeah, <laughs> like someone something's gonna give way. <laughs> what about the ears? Would you get the ears tucked in? Because uh, you can only tuck them in a certain amount of times. Nah, mm. um, nah. Your ear size to actual listening ratio? <laughs> yeah, I could I could use a touch up. Oh. It's because I got my ear, my uh, my my AirPods in too much, mate. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you always have your AirPods in. Busy, 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 busy. Busy doing nothing. Nah, it's it's because I loud noises, man. This is one thing with. Like, with art, bro, like, it's a very lonely <laughs> space. <laughs> oh, bro, you got an art scholarship, bro, congrats. I'm working on it. It's working Oh, it's on not it. done? Not done, but it's, 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 uh, there's a potential space there for it. Fuck a lot if I just jinxed it. Why? I don't know. Nah, nah, I don't believe in jinxes, man. You do the work, you get the treats. <laughs> But uh, no, I'm I'm I've I've got to look at a few of these courses and have a look. But that's that that could potentially be on the cards very soon. I went into the National Art School, one of the most prestigious, if not the most prestigious, art school in Australia. Where is that? It's in Darlinghurst. It's like at the old prison mm. in the middle there. You know, like sort of going into the like into the city. You know where like um, oh no, you don't go around there. Uh, it's in the city. Yeah, it's just in the, in the city, just by just by the hospital there, mm. in that little area. It's like a mad old prison, and it's got like, yeah, it's a fucking mad art school. It's got an art shop there too, fifty percent off if you guys are looking for any <laughs> pieces. Um, but it was it was a it was a really really good time, man. 
And I, I'm like, I was we're walking around, I was like, man, I found my passion, you know? So it'd be nice to get in there. It would. I don't know if I'll complete it, but <laughs> I've never really completed anything in my life. So that would be like the challenge for me. Oh, you don't have to tell me that. I'm not telling you that. It's a podcast. <laughs> I'm telling uh, 50 of our listeners. <laughs> yeah. How long does the course go for? Five years. Oh, what? Yeah, it's a master's d- degree. So you finish it when you're 42. <laughs> So I'll be 28 when I finish. Okay. <laughs> We're getting old, man. We're getting old. So you're 36 this year. 34. 34. How old are you? I'm 31. Actually. Are you actually 31? Or did you start counting when you come from somewhere? <laughs> oh, man. I come on here with thick skin, man. I tell you what. <laughs> I'm, here to break I'm 31. Down. I'm 31. But 31's the new... 21. Nah, it's not. 26? I've heard people say that in the past and I used to go, oh, shut the fuck up, you old <laughs> cunt. Nick Minute. But nah, I'm 31, man. 31. I feel like... feel about 27. Yeah. I don't feel like as you get older, you just still feel the same. A little bit wiser. A few more boundaries. Mm. It's an interesting space, isn't it? <laughs> Time. Mm. Um, yeah the the idea the uh, the whole idea behind you know growing up and i think about it sometimes growing up and you know you know getting into a relationship buying a house stuff like that i just i don't see that for me eh, anymore which is like not that i don't want it i just i just don't think it's possible i don't think it's because like i not in a negative way but just i just don't think yeah I just don't see it. Like, I just don't feel that that's not that I don't, as I said, not that I don't want it. It's just something that doesn't feel like obtainable, nor do I want to obtain it mm. anymore. But I think it'd be cool to have, um, like, imagine, I don't know, if soulmate or partners, like, imagine finding that. Like, you, you're with your best friend, she's got your back, you've got her back. And you build together. Like I, I yeah. still think that's cool. Like just because we live a certain way, I'm single, don't have kids. Yeah, um, yeah. Prefer to put all my energy into like building businesses and stuff like that. I don't think I'm like I don't think it's the right way to do things. It's just how I like to do things. But that would be cool. Yeah. Those guys who've been able to stay in relationships and look after their kids and provide and then buy a home. Like there must be something in that that must make you feel really good. Oh, for sure. It's just, it's just, uh, yeah. Like that. That's. That's magical there, bro. It's it's hard, man. It's hard, especially with the times we live in. It's hard to obtain it's hard to obtain that and it's hard to keep it, you know. So mm. I, I, I do envy guys like that, you know, like like last of life. Nah. <laughs> um no, like that nice like just the calming life, man, you know, that's the that's the gold at the end of the rainbow, you know, and they've 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 got it. So but for me it's just I just don't see that. I don't see it. What do you see for yourself? To be completely honest with you, I see I'll probably die lonely. I'll probably... Fucking <laughs> shut <laughs> up. I do see that for myself, man. I see, I see myself like probably, be, you know, becoming like a world-renowned artist. And a lot of... Uh, a lot of... I'm, I'm very generalisation, general fucking comedy... But like a lot of artists are kind of got that low key under under yeah. depressing tone about them. So yeah, go through a different lens. Yeah, I I I was yeah I was sitting there yesterday on the floor on the ground and I was like you know covered in paint and resin. Stop saying like, resin too, like it's getting annoying. <laughs> That's how you say grateful all the time. <laughs> But anyways, I I was sitting there and I was like, you know, this is just it's lonely, and I I was like, I don't mind it, you know, and I'm I'm sometimes you got to sit in it and marinate in it, but I that's what I see for myself, man. I, I you know I have good friends around me and and you know friends and family and you know my kids, but I just don't see myself sharing a bed with someone. Like I'm I'm I'm, I'm like I'm actually thinking about getting a single bed at the moment. <laughs> Where do you come up with this shit? 
Life, man. <laughs> this is life, man. Life, life throws you curveballs, man. <coughs> How can oh. I better utilize this space? You know. Yeah, hundred. So, yeah, I just um, that's where I see myself. What about you? Do you do you see yourself? Because I reckon you you would need to find someone that is like just like what like wifey vibes or either very business minded. But I think it would be like wifey vibes, like, you know, like no disrespect to anybody, but like, you know, like c- cooking, cleaning, like, you know, very ambitious, yeah, like but, a, but in that regard, like very caring, like, you know. Got a touch of OCD about him. Yeah. I reckon. Yeah. yeah I reckon that would be the go because, yeah, like not too ambitious. Like, yo, hey, 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 <laughs> slow down there. Slow down there. <laughs> hey, this is my lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because I just think you'd clash. I think you'd need someone who's like super caring, like OCD, you know, like just has their own thing going on. Girlfriend or EA? <laughs> yeah, I think about EA vibes. Yeah, something like know? that, eh? I a think A bit so of too. sexual intercourse sprinkled over it. hundred. That'd I've be nice. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that too. Like, um, I don't think I'll ever change my ambition. Like, I'll always sort of be this type of person. Do you reckon you'd ever give Gay a shot, like, for a couple of months? <laughs> no. No? No. I think I think if you're gay, you'd know by now. Like, I'm 30. Yeah, but, like, would you ever go out of your way to try it? Nah. This is re- just really doesn't do it for me, eh? Respectfully to anyone. Yeah, well, like, yeah, each would, to yeah, their own. Would you? I don't know, man. Uh, I don't think so, bro. I don't think so, like... It'd be too weird, mm. but I mean, like I love females. Like that's that's my bread and butter. But what about an alien? Would you hit an alien? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think I would if the if if the T's and C's were right. Like I don't want anyone frowning upon it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you'd hit. An but alien. if they were hot, if aliens were hot. See, I didn't discriminate. That's me to, in a nutshell, guys. Like hard on my sleeve. Mm. If I if I run into an alien. And whatever that like whatever their pronouns are are into me, and I'm like, hey, I caught a vibe here. By all means, take me away. But I don't know. Like, what if it's like, what if you, what if they look exactly like us? They're just from a different planet. Hmm. I don't know. What, what is it? Do, do you believe in aliens? I don't really. I don't believe in physical aliens. I believe in mental aliens. <laughs> What's that? It's like, it's like quotes and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like metaphorical aliens. Mm. Like love. I just, I seen that, I posted something. So that, foreign to me. Sorry. I seen that um, picture on on the internet and like why aliens are only ever landed in America. <laughs> like, yeah, that is true. It's a, it's, a, it's a weird one. It's it's crazy. I've seen some things. Like I've, I've, I've got a few theories. I've got a few conspiracy theories up my sleeve. Oh, it goes back. Yeah, and uh, I mean, I've seen some things. I'd like to deep dive into this, into these TikToks, and I can't sleep. Yeah, um, universe is so big. Like, I mean, have you ever seen that thing when it zooms yeah. out of all the galaxies? We can't be the only guys. Here. No way, no way. It's got to be higher powers. Imagine if we were the top species ever. It's pretty boring. <laughs> we can't even get along. You know what, man? I, I think if aliens were to like invade Earth, man. Oh, I'd 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 be happy. <laughs> be gig away. I I got bills to pay and shit, man. And I'm like, they they come at the right time, and I'm like, sweet. <laughs> All of that shit's gone. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> we're going to war. So, would you ever like turn your back on like humanity just to to get through? What do you mean? Like leave the con- Like leave leave the planet? Yeah. Like if they if they offered you a uh, if they offered you a space as like a sex worker on one of their ships <laughs> a scholarship would they offer you if they offered you a scholarship on one of their ships as a sex worker would you go no I like Earth no but like that like Earth was oh, like, about to go like and they were like the only way that you can jump on the spaceship is if you're either a nice or a sex worker so I'd be getting on for the nice and you'd be on the sex worker <laughs> nah I don't know. No, like if you had to, like if you had to, if it was a yes or no, like would you get on a spaceship as a sex worker or would you die? Uh, I'd probably just die. <laughs> We're all going to die anyway, like you said. Nah. <laughs> do you reckon anyone would come to your funeral? I hope not. <laughs> I really do. 
Uh, most of my mates will come to the funeral just to pick up chicks. <laughs> I, I really like if okay, th this is actually a good. This is a good thing that we brought this up because when, when I well, if I die, we need to like get the T's and C's in, in order because <laughs> like I don't want to be don't want to be buried. Well, who's picking up your debt from? from don't your bury. Will? <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, put everything in your name. <laughs> don't. I'll put uh, everything in your name. Here's also Don't put YKTR on my cas casket to <laughs> casket as well because I'll fucking rip the gun off. No. <laughs> I'll, I, I don't want to be buried. I want to be cremated. I think it's just a better way to go, eh? Yeah, I want to be cremated just in case. Knowing my luck, I'll wake up. <laughs> and I want my brain to be donated <laughs> to the university. <laughs> so, so for <Studied>. CTE. <laughs> You had to play one of the greatest minds, man. <laughs> one of the greatest minds of our time. I'd love to see what goes on in your mind. I guess you say most things, don't you? Yeah, like um, my mind's a safe place now, man. <laughs> it's been a long journey to get here. You know, I was actually... Um, I've been going to like therapy and stuff, as you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have. <laughs> I used to pay for your therapy too. No, I? you didn't. Yes, I did. I was paying for your no, therapy. No, you get 10 free sessions. No, we were paying for them. Well, well, biggest waste of money. <laughs> well, I'm still alive, so I mean, I guess it worked. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> but there was like three people going through therapy. And was... Well, I mean, everyone needs to go to therapy, you know what I mean? And most of my issues came from work. <laughs> so <laughs> it sort of like makes sense. <laughs> Put more pressure on me. <laughs> pay for therapy. <laughs> One of uh, my, I've one been going to therapy lately. One, sorry, one of my favorite lines. When, remember when you got your blue tick for the first time? And I was like, what's changed since you got your blue tick? He goes, well, it's made my work environment harder. <laughs> get the blue tick and get in trouble at work. Wow. Wow, the face of the company. Can't get you. <laughs> imagine, imagine getting put on a PIP for getting a blue tick. <laughs> Sorry, oh. sorry, therapy? I've been going to therapy, man, and like, you know, just I'm um, just unraveling and unboxing a few things which have been really, really peaceful for myself. And this might help a, a lot of young gentlemen that listen to the podcast. So clip this up. Um what the fuck? Um I've been going to therapy talking about uh childhood trauma. Um I'm gonna say that one more time. <laughs> And you can't laugh. <laughs> That's probably the popular interview. <laughs> I'm going to say it one more time. And if you guys laugh, I'm going to leave. Uh, okay. So going on a therapy, talking about how I was touched as a child. And <laughs> sorry, it's off a of Bobby Lee. <laughs> um, no, no, no. Talking, un, un, unboxing like childhood trauma, um, you know, alcohol, alcoholism, um, we say <laughs> you know what i mean just unboxing all these things man and like digging really deep into each of these like these situations and like you know even <laughs> so i shouldn't be, i shouldn't be laughing but fucking just made me <laughs> i've never seen you smile that much <laughs> hey hey if you don't laugh you'll cry you <laughs> yeah, exactly I mean? <laughs> man exactly but like we're on, we're unboxing these things, you know. So I'm trying to like I'm trying to make amends with like my family and stuff like that. And you know, and and I've been honest with my family and saying, you know, it's been hard. You know, you guys turned your backs on me, blah blah blah. And you know, now they're a little bit too keen to to chat, too keen to talk. <laughs> and now it's like, oh, it's like family catch chill, up chill, now. chill. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it's a beautiful thing though, but it's it's just something that I'm working on to to accept. You know, like. I felt quite bad like my auntie invited me to go to like you know my niece like my niece's 21st and and i just blocked the number because <laughs> i freaked out and people don't understand that they, they don't understand that like my family don't understand that it's it's not that i don't want to come it's just that I, I just don't i don't know how to you know what i mean so it's like that's what i'm trying to unbox at the moment and um, <laughs> it's it's a long journey man but it's one step at a time, one after the other. Fuck, I reckon if one of us die, the other person will be cracking jokes at the funeral. <laughs> oh, man, that'd be the best. I hope you do. I hope you do crack jokes at my funeral. Yeah, me too. And you can clip this up too. Like, 
like for late for future reference, just in case. But I've, I've seen these. Um, do you know the Wayne brothers? Um, have you seen that micro <coughs> content getting around? And like those those brothers, they always use humor to like cover things up. And yeah, yeah be, a lot of people do. And he, he, one of the ones he said, he's he'll be sitting at the funeral, and the guy that died um, got his mum dressed him, and he had like jeans and like a motorcycle t shirt on. And one of the brothers go, I hope there's not a dress code up in heaven. <laughs> Because he won't be kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's oh. fucking, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I definitely will be making jokes at, at your funeral. <laughs> if I outlast you. Oh, um, I was, I read this book one time. It's, I think it was called Tuesdays with Nori, Mori or some shit like that. And it's about a guy who had, um, what was the ice bucket challenge? What was that uh, disease? Uh, ASL. ASL, ASL. He had that disease before, like all the before it got recognised. But what actually happens with that disease? It paralyses from the body up, and by the time it gets to your lungs, it actually like suffocates you. So it's a, it's a rough way to die. Holy cow! But he had this um, theory that like instead of having a funeral and everyone speaks after, like when you're about to die and you know you're gonna do it, have your like eulogy then, and you can listen to the people talk about it and have speeches with them. Uh. Um, it's it's a. I thought it was a little bit sad, but I still thought it was kind of like a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, uh, yeah. Depending on if you like, if you know, then that's definitely. A, I reckon that would be a, a good way to go. Mm. Um, look, I'm 31, man, and I'm like, I'm, I'm ready to go soon. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, life's been fucking. It's, I've had a good run. I've had a nice run. Yeah, you, you've lived some lives, haven't you? You know what I mean? It's like another 30 years of this. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But that's it, man. Honestly, like. You think about it, you know, some, sometimes when like you're lying in bed or like, like you've got 30 of the best left, you know. Grouse. Exciting. But I mean, isn't that crazy though? Mm. We're, we're halfway there. So. It's mad. Oh. I know. I, you're telling me. <laughs> I'm As I said, I'm ready to go soon. Like, <laughs> soon. I want to live, I wanna live forever. Yeah. This is forever. But, uh, yeah, if it was at my funeral, I want to be cremated. I. What song? What song? I'm not doing the hucker too. I was about to say, don't do the hucker. You, <laughs> you don't do the hucker. I don't want that uh, an unnatural hucker at my funeral. <laughs> um, funeral riz. The uh, <laughs> now, nah, I what song? It's been a long and winding journey. <laughs> and I'm hunting a picking up the pieces. And then I, I want you guys to carry. <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> Chuck me on wheels. <laughs> no fake crying too, mister. <laughs> Just trying to get some of this at the, at the funeral. <laughs> Different beast. Yeah. Yeah, make some jokes, man. It'll be a good laugh. Good giggle. <laughs> Bro, got a, got a female flatmate at the moment. Obviously, you haven't met her, eh? No. Mor she didn't. Naughty or know. nice? Nice. Great chick. A little bit messy. <laughs> Classic. Stana ick me. Yeah. H how do you, you give him an arm. You give him an arm, they take a leg. <laughs> Lionel Messi. <laughs> like, that's you. Nah, great, great chick, though, but, like, um, I've got what it's like living with a girl. Like, I've obviously broken up from a relationship maybe two, three years ago. And They're messy little buggers. <laughs> that time of the month, man. I, yeah. forgot, I forgot what that's like. Yeah. That's I mean... Oh, oh, you can sense it coming to the old Jumanji jump start going. Yeah, yeah, Slam yeah. the door louder walking through. And then, like, gives me a spray for being a guy. <laughs> like, oh, fuck you. Fuck you and, and men. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, whoa. Yeah, you can't, you can't bloody pack us all into one. Yeah. Did you just assume my gender? <laughs> <laughs> you can't win, man. You can't win, especially with the housemates too, but. Do you know what, bro? Like, I watched this thing about um, the female menstrual cycle. It's pretty sad. Like, oh, they, it's crazy. They, they feel good, like, one week out of the month. Like, their body's always going through stuff. So, you know how we mostly feel good all the time. Like, they've got, like, one week out of every month where they feel like what we normally feel like. Minus their anxiety. One week, did you say? Yeah, like, out of the... So, that they have their, like, period or bleeding period for, like, three to seven days. It changes. But then after that, like they, f it's like leading up to it. They start to feel bad, then they feel bad. Like they don't feel. You got to give and take, though. You'd take the one month out of the three, or one week out of the three. No, I mean they live a pretty good life. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, yeah, no, nah, it's bro, it's crazy. The female body is, 
It's up. It's up there with you know the Pythagoras theorem. <laughs> um, but no, didn't that get solved? <sighs> I, I'm still asking the same question. Yeah, you know what I mean. But you know, power to them, man. They keep they keep plotting along, keep trotting along, crazy creating drama. <laughs> you know, keep destroying worlds. That's what they're here for, man. But yeah, it's a it's a crazy thing, man. And I, I wish them nothing but the best. <laughs> Yeah, you know, bro. But I, I used to, I used to, I used to buy like tampons and stuff for like my for like my shorty. You know what I mean? Like hair ties, tampons, makeup remover, makeup removal wipes, wipes. I think that's normal, isn't it? Wouldn't it? No, no, no. Like at my place, like because we lived in, like I'd, I'd leave it there. You know what I mean? Like just like a little care package. Mm. I think that goes a long way. <sighs> They're still there, <laughs> unused, untapped. <laughs> well, I got the pads, bro. Cause like you got the you got the pads and then you've got the, you know, the actual tampon. Mm. Poor girls, man. Yeah, got it rough. They do, bro. Plus the pill too, man. The pill that fucks up the body, man. <laughs> just got guys cruising around, just doing what we want. Just fucking coming and running. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, guys have it good like that, man. Oh yeah, we've got it great. We've got it better. We're lucky. We are very lucky. Mm. But we power dudes. What are our dues? Expectations of being a man? The expectations of being a man is a hard hard space to live in, man. Mm. Really is. I think responsibility is a privilege. Responsibility is a privilege, yeah. It is. You're right, yeah. For sure. It's got people relying on you. Like that's I think that's mad. I think that's yeah. cool. It's it is sometimes. Mm. Depending on the people. Yeah. I felt that with work. <laughs> gotcha. Not with me. Yes, I do. Writing was on the wall with me. There was no, no, no if my buts or maybes. <laughs> Did you watch the game last night? Nah. <laughs> um, I was trying to log onto the Seven app, but it wouldn't load. I think there's too many people on it. Oh, true. Shout yeah. Out, shout out Matildas. Do you know what? It's probably like the first time I've been in this country that like everyone's Preach. got everyone's got around something. Like you know, New Zealand, everyone gets around the All Blacks. That's just what we do. <laughs> but this is gets around the All Blacks in the same chick. <laughs> This is like I was at our east and I seen like you know Aussie's such a bright colour with their gold uniforms. It was the first time I seen like flags and jerseys. Yeah, yeah. Aussies are trying to be too vibey with sports. Besides Origin, like where everyone sort of cares about, then you go club sports, especially AFL. We've talked about this plenty of times. Yep. But there's not many national teams that a lot of people get around. Maybe like cricket, but that's like a male sport. You know what I mean? This was like a female sport that was representing the country, a World Cup in their home country. So you had a lot of female um, audience starting to watch it. And I think they broke smash heaps of records for yeah. TV. I think the most watched program of the year so far. Fuck, that goal was was mad. Yeah, bro, Sam Kerr. She's a freak, eh? Yeah. Her and I actually went to school together in um, Perth. Did you actually? Yeah. Do you know her? I don't know her personally. Like She was uh, like a year or two below me. Oh, cool. Good. Actually, she can kick, man. Right, that was one of the great goals. On and off the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, yeah, no, no, it was, it was mad. Uh, I, 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 I actually never really had, I actually hadn't watched a, a football match, so a soccer football uh, match before. Mm. So that one that I went to live, that was my first one. And I was like, fuck, the atmosphere was crazy. I could only imagine what it's like in the Euro, like in the Euro League and like fucking <laughs> whatever you call it, like just... Like, Premier League, no, and no wonder the game is just so, like, just popular because there's just there's just always it's like a, it's like a game of chess really, but um, it's kind of it's easy, it's really easy to pick up. You know what I mean? It's like if you went to explaining it to an alien for the first time, like they're trying to get that ball into that goal. Yeah, like, you look at like league and rugby and NFL. There's like a lot of technicalities to it. Uh, that so, goal, that goal she hit from fucking outside the box, man. Oh. That's that was special. And then uh, when, like, she had the two, or she had that layup from the corner. But, like, it, just seeing how big, like, big she is, bro. Like, she's got, like, one point something million followers. Like, she's fucking, I think she's at Chelsea or something like that. I think her wage is about 500K. Um, that's that's what she's worth in the players' market. Cool. Which um, is, like, third to the top. Yeah. Um. But Co yeah. Contextually speaking, she could be one of the best Australian athletes around the world. Because if you think about soccer, or but she's very well known. She was on Bleacher Report and shit. 
So, like, she's getting spoken about in the States. Her um, commercial value after this little World Cup, she'll, oh. be, she'll be getting millions. Mate. Good on her. Yeah, 100%. Mm. Fucking oath. It's, 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 like, it's good for the sport. It's good for female sports. It's good for the country. It's an inspirational man, you know? Yeah. So, like, more power, power to the girls. 100%. Shout out to Courtney. Who's that? How do the Kiwi girls go? I don't think they got a team. Nah. <laughs> um, I don't think they went too, too sharp, but... We won the first game, I saw that. We must have got knocked out in straight sets straight after. Yeah. <coughs> need, to get, need to get that. Need to get NZ into... Need to get, a few, need to get the Islander boys playing soccer, man. Nah, Tim Cale, man. Sam Warren. Oh, yeah. One Writings on the wall. Probably the best male soccer player that ever came out of Australia. Yeah, for sure. I think it would be too big, man, the Islanders. Yeah, chuck them in mid midfield. <laughs> Get them at the back, eh? Just trying to I, I enjoyed it, man. Even watching it last night, went to the Beach, Beach Road Hotel. Fuck, the atmosphere was pumping, eh? Fucking, like, like we said, bro, it brought the whole country together, which is like really cool. It really did, yeah. Yeah. And and you know what, man, I, what I can't wait for is I can't wait for the Wallabies to have that that sensation back. Mm, hope they do. I've been to Wallabies games down at the pub and stuff, and then it's empty. It's quite sad, really, because, yeah, back in 2007, 2006, man. Oh, they were the team, weren't they? Something special, yeah. Um, all right, we're just going to dive into a bit of a Q&A section. Got a bit of random ones here. Uh, I'll just go on with you for you, Sammy. The, heart, the art of dealing with heartbreak. <sighs> I've never Step into my office. <laughs> <laughs> the, art, the art of de- dealing with heartbreak. Oh, you? What were you going to say? You've never dealt, like you've never gone? No, nah, not really, bro, not really. Like I've seen uh, like how you guys, just from know. just from a friend, I've seen you guys like go through it, through it. Where when I broke up with my partners, I was just like, ah, oh, sweet grouse. Do you ever really stop it, going through it? <laughs> but it's kind of sad though, like that I haven't experienced that. I'll be completely honest with you. I thought I had experienced it in past past relationships, but I hadn't. I've, I'm still going through it as we speak. Like right now, as we speak it in this podcast, like I'm still going through it. What are you going through? I just think it, the heartbreak's taken my ability to probably love someone again. So, which is not a sad thing, man. I mean, the opportunity and the, uh, you know, the opportunity to have loved, man, is, is a blessing. So... I had it, you know, I had it and, and it's it's no more. And and uh, I look back and I go, wow, that was a fun time, man. That was a good time. And now I'll tip my hat off to, to, to the stadium and, and walk away a happy man, <laughs> you know? So, but you never really get, you never really get over it. You never really get through it. You're going to get under it. <laughs> or get into it. You know what I mean? <laughs> is the best way to get over someone is to get under someone? Is that what you're saying? Nah. It's not it anymore? Nah, it's, it's never been it. Just sit with yourself, man. It's, it's, it's become lonely. It's become, that's like putting a band-aid <sighs> over a shark bite, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, it's just, bro, heartbreak's a crazy thing. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm over it. And I'm like, you know, the situation, whatever, like I don't, don't dwell on it, but like just the, the arth- aftermath, man, it's, it's, a, it's a hard thing. The art of Instagram carousels. <laughs> Break this down. Do you know Carousels. what? I, to be fair, I reckon you're the first guy that I noticed that did it, but or put as much effort into it as no, you. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Let me speak. Let me speak. Put as much effort into you because I've seen you spend like ninety minutes to two hours thinking about days. <laughs> thinking about carousels. Well, I'll, I'll just post and still get more likes and. It's not about that. See, this is, <laughs> this is, this is, this is where you lose me. It's not about the likes, man. It's about the story you're telling. It's about the story you're, you're trying to convey to the to the consumer. Break it down. Give us a good. Um, so and everyone, all the footy boys are starting to do it now. Eh? <laughs> yeah, all of them. Yeah, trying to. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. So the art of the carousel, a good carousel. Like I've been working on one for two years now. Like I saw him post it. So it's like the art, the art of a good carousel. It's not like, hey, let, let me post some willy nilly photos that don't mean anything. You could be going through, you know, heartbreak. You could have got like, 
you know, you could be seeing like a little shorty and That's you want to tell one. her a story. Mm. You could be, you know, you know, you could be, you know, you just got a new job, you know, you could anything, but you, it's the story you're trying to tell is like, that's the most important thing. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, like when you're happy, you, you might chuck mellow in like five, five out of the <laughs> 10 carousels. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, the art of the carousel, man, it's, 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 a, it's a story you're telling. It's pretty much like a, it's like a reel with photos. Mm. I reckon, um, but it's 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 genuinely hard to crack sometimes, man. It really is. I, I always do that one where, like, say you're crushing on someone or talking to someone. You know what? It, you know what? So sorry to interrupt because you do it to me all the time. So oh, Jack goes back. <laughs> <laughs> My carousels, right? I I I want to I want the future me and like when I go because these things are out of scrapbooks of your life, right? So when you go, they're still going to be there. It's still going to be there for people to reference. So these carousels are not stories that you're telling people now, but you're telling people in the future. So when you go back, you're like, people are going to have an understanding of who you were and what your thought process was during those times through these carousels mm. or, you know, reels. But I think... Or podcasts. Or podcasts. So... But yeah, the art of the carousel, man, it's hard. It's you know who does it really well? I, I find it. Um, don't say me. KP. He's artistic. Yeah, I get that. KP does a nice carousel. I reckon it's a little bit too girlfriendy, but <laughs> KP does pull a nice carousel off. I think um, I like when it's random. Like you, yeah. when you swipe, you don't know what's coming, and it might be a random quote or it might be Steve ref- off fucking the office. Yeah, reference something from a movie. Um, yeah. Like, I don't like when it's, like, photo and then a new photo, but they're kind of the same photo, but different yeah, angle. Like, yeah, Chico yeah. does that sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Chico's Chico's carousels are a bit too aggressive. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why? What does aggressive carouseling mean? Aggressive carousel, like, very... attacky. <laughs> to who? <sighs> the hum- human... Con- like mankind. <laughs> Like check out one of Chico's carousels. It's really, really aggressive. Remember the Titans. How many times can you put Denzel Washington into <laughs> carousels? <laughs> yeah, hey, Denzel's the goat. What's the best way to break up with a crazy girlfriend? That's be more crazier. So you fight crazy with crazy, fire with fire. Yeah, I can be crazy. I can be crazy. Nah, I reckon, bro. The the best way to let me set up for this one. Best way to break up with a crazy girlfriend. Oh, I don't know if you want to though. You know what I mean? Something about crazy and horny. They 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 live together. They first cousins. Second, <laughs> if you're into that. But yeah, I don't I don't know if you can break up with a crazy girl. Maybe just maybe just. <laughs> Pinch the back of her arm or something like. It's not much you can do with a crazy chick, can you? They're just gonna follow you home too. I know someone like that. Mm. It's crazy, bro. This uh, I'll tell you a funny story. Actually, I was actually gonna tell you a funny fucking story this morning, but it's I've lost it. I should have written it down in my poem book. In my book of poems. Oh, I was going to tell you the story about the crazy chick. <laughs> yeah. Story of crazy chick, right? This chick, right? We're sitting at Mateo. You know, shout out to Mateo. Best restaurant in Sydney. The vibes though, man. They're unmatched. Food's grouse. It's right. But you can go there for a good time. Yeah, I get that. But food's right. Like, like the food's nice. Like, I mean. It's all right. But see, you're, you're just thinking of food as if you, if, you, if you want to go somewhere f- for food, go to your mum's house. I'm thinking vibes, music, shorties, good-looking men, like good-looking females, a good time. Where can you smoke inside of a restaurant? (laughs) (laughs) Anyways, what I'm saying to you is this. This chick right comes up to me. She's crazy. I won't name her name, but she's wild. And her and I have that sort of weird relationship where I'm like, I'm usually the crazy one. So she's crazy. I'm like, bro, fuck, get out of here. Bro, she drunk her drink 
and said, open your mouth. And I was like, nah, nah, nah. She's like, open your mouth. Like she's drunk and she's like, open it. And I was like, no. She grabbed my, grabbed my cheeks and pushed my fingers into my teeth to like, Joy, o- yeah. to open my mouth. And she spat her drink all over my face in front of like a full restaurant. Shit. Everyone went quiet. Cause you know, I'm the big dog there. You know what I mean? <laughs> and she licks it off my face. Like licks my face. And I was like, what the fuck? Like. What's her at? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, like, that's my crazy story. And that's too crazy. And then, then and there I just drew the line. I said, hey, listen, I will not be disrespected like that. And we went home. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> and I got payback. Oh. Nah. Yeah, no, but that was it for me, man. I was like, bro, you're you're too crazy, bro. That's too weird, eh? Oh, well, I was a guy. No, nah, I was a chick. Oh. I won't say her name, but she knows who she is. Shout out her. Mm. Out of a good pash, how much tongue is too much tongue? Oh, someone knows who they are is watching is too much tongue man there's no such thing ever <laughs> I'll fucking like if we're pashing man and like I and I fuck with you like I want you to look at my face you just condescended like you just contradicted yourself I wasn't like getting my face licked it was getting like my face spat on <laughs> with the spicy mug Um, but yeah no too much tongue I mean I'm talking with the love of my life here you know what I mean like there's not no such thing as too much tongue, but teeth to teeth is fucking. Oh, the clink! Oh, like do something. You know what I mean. Mm. Be about it. Does your nose ever get in the way when you're passing? Oh, hundred percent. Do you have no. to like flick your nose up and go like that? Have you ever have you ever hungered someone while kissing them? <laughs> I have, and I tell you what, oh. the double kiss I call it. <laughs> you the did. double greeting. <laughs> Yeah, you're, bro. You're the only person that would have to hong you but go backwards. Nah, I've got to fucking, I've got to hold the cunt up when I take, <laughs> when I just kiss someone. So it's like this. Give him CTA if you hit it too hard. <laughs> uh, one of the great, the great noses of our time. <laughs> Nose too much. Uh, the difference between New Zealand girls and Australian girls. Um, I think New Zealand girls. Respectfully, like really uh, laid back. Hey, I, I, I like New Zealand girls because they're super chill. Now you going the other way? <laughs> uh, uh, I can't see. No, nah. <laughs> New Zealand girls are very passionate. New Zealand girls are very passionate. They're very loyal. I feel like they're a little bit more cultured as well. Um, I they'll, feel like they'll fuck you up too if you if you come home too late. <laughs> <laughs> they'll come to find you, give you a hiding. Yeah, in but the, I feel like I feel like in their warehouse, PJ. <laughs> New Zealand girl, Kiwi girls, bro, they're just a lot more passionate and a lot more um, a lot more loyal, a lot more cultured. Aussie girls, they're a little bit more wild, man. They love to party and stuff. They love to party. They're very flirtatious. They're very, you know, I mean, I won't say it, but the writing's on the wall. Um, but, yeah, the Aussie girls are a little bit more wild. But, yeah, Kiwi girls, they're a lot more cultured and loyal and loving and caring and Aussie girls are a little bit more willy nilly, willy nilly. yeah and I think it's just a cultural thing yeah because like a lot of like 100% it's an understanding too because Aussie guys are like that you know Aussie guys are very like they're not really like the I'm a like I'm a quite a jealous guy you know <laughs> like I'll go out of my way to be jealous but you know what I mean like what are you looking at that dude for across the table man it's Christmas it's my dad you know what I mean <laughs> Fucking stop looking for looking at him then. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. But yeah, it's a, it's just two different cultures, man. I just I feel like I feel like I need to get back to my roots. Mm. Like get back. Oh, I could sort of, I'm, I'm, I've, I might fuck around today and put my location at Hinge location in New Zealand. Mung in the east, get back home. <sighs> yeah, I love that. How much are steroids? I have no idea. Semi to fight TPJ, surely, bro. That was crazy, eh? Hey? Hell no. Too big. Yeah, it weights. He's just way too athletic, way too big. Like I've, I've 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 watched him spar as well. Is he good? He's good, bro. He's got an engine of doom too. Mm. Yeah, that was that sucked, man. Seeing him leave the dogs, bro. Like, I think uh, the sad thing is that's it's a big cultural thing there right now. 
There's 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 a lot of players leaving, a lot of new players coming in. Bro, losing is draining, bro. It like, is draining, bro. Bro, footy can feel like the biggest trap if you're not into it. Like a lot of people see it as like the dream job, but if, not, if you're like Nathan Cleary and you're winning everything or Cameron Smith, yeah, but it's the dream. Especially when you've got like you've got a lot of eyes on you, you've got f- like fucking the Godfather looking looking at you, you know, all the time. Yeah, you know, you got, but he's in a position where like you can't really like you can't really you can t- like you can't really play high grade football like in that position if you don't have any fucking playmakers around you. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm not saying that there's no playmakers there, but there's no like. There's no vets there right now to sort of like lead the team around. So, it's bro, it's honestly, bro. If, if I mean, a, a ben, Benny Hunt would be a good get there next season. Footy's a draining fucking sport, bro. Honestly, it's like, there's not many jobs in the world where you judge weekly. Like, you might get a quarterly review, half yearly review, bro. You're judged weekly. You got to prep, and I know some guys are paid well for him, but not all of them are, bro. Footy's a fucking. Well, footy, oh. like, yeah, as people say, like, it's, it's a dream job. Obviously, it's amazing. It's I don't amazing reckon it. it's, good, it's a cool job. It's not the dream job. But longevity-wise, like, like, you know, you've got NFL players, soccer players and stuff. These guys can retire straight after, you know what I mean, and not work again. These guys are oh, – footy players are getting paid mint and then becoming physios. <laughs> uh, question, question. Not a question, but great to see you guys back together. Goat content. Thanks, bro. Welcome. We've always had good content, eh? Yeah, pretty good, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the difference between management and leadership? Probably not a question for you. you yeah, definitely. Um, I used to be... I No, no, no. Don't you, don't you answer it. <laughs> I know because I, I've i been a sales manager in my time. Over, over 100 people under, you under my wing. You reek of a salesman. You know what I mean? Not a salesman, sales manager. Um... A manager tells people what to do and a leader shows people what to do. I like that. So, you know, sometimes it's it's best just to do as I do, not as, not as I say. <laughs> um, our friendship group, group is super tight but can't feel other people growing. What should I do? Get out of here. Just water, water them. No. Yeah, and that's the thing, bro. Like, if you've got a close group and you're growing and, and they're not, but they're trying to bring you back, I think it's time to leave. And it's a tough conversation. But, like, just don't spend all your time with yeah. those types of people. Like, for me, I have different groups with different things. Yeah, I think um, if I think if there's, like, you have to have the conversation of, like, you know, like, what are, what, what are we up to, you know, as a collective? And, like, if it doesn't align with each other, then... It's, yeah, probably time to bounce, but like you, you got to have those conversations because there's, there's, you know, but you can you can only lead a horse to water. Hundred, yeah. I, I sort of learned that over the past couple of years, where like I, I don't know why, like I used to think it was like my duty to try and bring everyone with me, but um, it's not. Like, you know, if if I go and people come with, cool. Yeah, but not like trying to fucking drag every cunt up the hill. It's annoying. Don't do that. Trust me, it will drain you. Ah, uh, Simi, what's something you're the most What's something that you're the most proud of since achieving since leaving YKTR? Um, no, you done <laughs> the <laughs> I'm you done nothing, hey? Until you come back under. No, nah, no, nah, I, d- I did, I did, I did a lot. Like, I what went to go interview like the UFC fighters. That was pretty cool for me. I went over to Perth, man, and seen where I was like homeless and shit, and living over there, and sort of just to be in the position in a different position in that same spot was pretty surreal for me, you know? But the most, uh, the proudest thing that I've had is probably reconnecting with my children. Like that relationship oh, there. Yeah, that's a good, like, you didn't make me feel bad. Oh, I mean, like if you, it's time to grow up now, man. <laughs> like, but, uh, that's probably the, the main, that's probably the main thing there, bro. That and my mental stability was probably, you know, what I, what I was happy with walking away with that and my children. So, I mean, you know, that was, yeah, that was, that was probably pretty much it. That's us, eh? Um, sorry, guys, i got another podcast to go, but we'll be back on next week. Simi, thanks for your time as always. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll be back next week, so appreciate you guys.